Daniel here, W5EKG. Uh, I'm going to go over the 9700 and if you buy hardware for it for GPS locking your 9700 on what steps you're supposed to take on actually connecting it to your radio. Now I don't have, I'm not the most informative on this, I'm kind of learning as I go as well, but I noticed some of the videos uh, that I had looked up, they didn't actually show you what to do whenever you get your GPS DO and how to set up the settings in the 9700 uh, for it to uh, start syncing uh, to the GPS. So um, a lot of the videos that I've seen were just actual instrument testing the 9700. So uh, this is just a little hundred dollar GPS um, disciplined oscillator that I picked up off of eBay uh, just to test out and it's actually working really well. Um, as you can see here I have a little 20 dB attenuator in line with it because this uh, specific uh, GPS puts out about 15 to 20 uh, dB output and what I was told the ICOM likes uh, 0 dB so uh, without further ado pretty much as you can see there I'm on 23 centimeter band because I have a, a beacon east of me about oh 80 90 miles um, that I'm picking up but I'm kind of losing propagation on it um, it was coming in good earlier and that's when I decided to make a video to show uh, but now once I got all my equipment out um, I'm losing <laughs> propagation so these are pretty straightforward when you get them on connections on what you'll do uh, basically you have a DC input 12 volt DC input and then you're gonna have your GPS antenna input as well uh, mine came with a wall wart uh, to plug in but I just snipped that snipped that off and put some power poles on the end of it and uh, connected it to my power supply that way it only comes on uh, whenever my radios come on uh, my GPS antenna so it's a little SMA um, connector on the back it says antenna on it um, and I have this sitting outside on top of a junction box that leads all my coax into the house on the front you're gonna have your 10 megahertz reference and a 1 PPBS um, you got your power button or your power LED and an alarm LED basically if, if I the documentation wasn't really good on this specific GPS uh, but basically what it read was uh, this alarm LED will come on whenever you have a um, 0 0.1 Hertz deviation uh, from the lock and what I found out is this comes on when I first turn on the unit if it's been off for a while and mine actually has to warm up for a couple minutes for it to uh, for that to trigger off and for it to give me an accurate uh, reading um, the 10 megahertz reference is going to be on a BNC so I just got a, a BNC 20 dB attenuator plug that in and that goes to the back of the 10 megahertz reference on the 9700 and as you can see here off camera when I unplug that it gave me a warning on the 9700 synchronization failed check the input of the reference signal this is because I already had it set up and it was synchronized uh, before I started the video so uh, what we're going to do here is I'm going to hit cancel and I'm going to take you through the menu settings of where you go which is very simplistic of once you plug this in you plug in your GPS antenna and then you plug it into your 10 megahertz reference out to the back of the SMA on the 9700 and all you got to do is go to menu set 
on page one of set you're going to go to function and you're going to be on page one of nine what you're going to want to do is scroll down to page nine and there's going to be this reference adjust you're going to click on that and there's going to be a button that says sync to reference in it's going to pop up a warning uh, input reference signal in megahertz 10 megahertz start syncing now all you got to do is hit start it's going to take it a second to synchronize uh, start the uh, synchronization process and there you go that's all you got to do um, and now your 90, my 9700 is talking with the GPS DO and I really wish that that 1296 beacon was coming in a little bit better because uh, I don't have another beacon to aim at uh, but the specific beacon that I was listening to was is at uh, around 1296.300 so um, whenever I first clicked on this signal this morning I actually had the GPS unhooked uh, from stuff I was moving around yesterday and forgot about it so I was picking up the signal around 1296.275 um, and after I started my sync um, and locked the uh, synchronization in here and locked this radio uh, the signal shifted up to 1296.300.025 is where the signal was at then the, the, radio didn't automatically go up there but I lost that signal at dot two ninety nine dot uh, seven five and found the signal back at dot three hundred dot two five so um, actually I got it at dot three hundred point six which is what this was on now um, but it kinda had a a low CW tone uh, it sounded like it was at like 700 750 Hertz or so uh, so I just scrolled down and uh, somewhere around dot two five is where I heard um, the carrier should be so that's it and that's all you got to do once you get the hardware in um, I'm invested probably I'd say 120 bucks into that um, that's for the GPS, the attenuator, um, the cables, um, and everything because I had to purchase them from th three different places. Um, and I just went ahead and bought a cable because I don't know where my SMA and BNC connectors are at for me to make a patch cable because uh, I recently moved and I'm still trying to find stuff in boxes. So, uh, but I just want to give you all a quick demo. Of that's all you got to do it's not a, a direct plug-and-play you don't just plug it into power or plug it into the 10 megahertz reference and automatically your, your GPS lock no you got to go into the settings and make sure that the and hit the sync button and make sure that the year 9700 is actually talking to the GPS because um, like I said I didn't find any instructions on how to do that in the videos um, that I've seen that I looked up I don't know maybe if I was just looking at the wrong wording but any kind of GPS lock video that I came across was just uh, talking about the performance of the radio afterwards but didn't actually take you through the steps of how to hook up your GPS DO so I wanted to make a quick video post this on here so if anybody else uh, was considering it or was like me and didn't um, have any instructions to go off of maybe this will help you out a little bit maybe it won't but uh, hoping this will help somebody out there with that so with that said I'm going to go ahead and end this video thank you for watching and this is Daniel W5 EKG 73